Uh, let's go next to let's go to Larry from New York City. Larry, you're on the air. Hey, David, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Nice. Oh, it's great to talk to you. It's my first time calling. Great to have you. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I was I was actually curious um, about your thoughts on propaganda, specifically in the Latin American neighboring countries. Yep. Because I hear a lot of stuff from Mexican friends. Um, I actually, you know, I'm in New York, but I heard about Pizzagate first from Mexican friends, QAnon from them. Yep. And now, you know, with the Russian stuff, like I'll hear stuff and then it's like verbatim, like the Russian, uh, you know, narrative. <laughs> this is something I'm intimately familiar with, unfortunately. You know, when I was hosting my Spanish language short, uh, like one season show leading up to the 2020 election, um, mm. I started immediately getting a lot of conspiracy messages from folks in the Latin American community. And I'm on a bunch of different, you know, different groups and WhatsApp chats and all these different things with like Argentinians oh, yeah. and different people. And the amount of misinformation and conspiracies that are spreading there are crazy. Anecdotally, the last time I was in Miami, I had so many Cuban Uber and Lyft drivers tell me about how their aunt's shoulder was magnetized from the vaccine, how they oh, know man. of a healer that uses. When I was just in Vegas, I had um, I had a, a, a Cuban Lyft driver who was telling me about a healer that um, uses sunlight to cure cancer. So so she can only do it when it's sunny out, like all this different stuff. It's a major problem. It's depressing to me, uh, yeah. but I don't know exactly what the source of it is. I don't know. I mean, I think it has to do with I mean, I know, you know, Russia and China gave Mexico, Mexico the vaccines. Yep. You know, I kind of just see it as a, you know, they're trying to keep us a little divided from yep. our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I, I knew you'd have an opinion about it, especially being from Argentina, because I don't think it's just Mexico. I think it's the whole Latin America, you know, it's a lot absolutely, of absolutely. But, it's Cuba. It's Argentina. It's It's everywhere. Yeah. But yeah, I want to second. Uh, that, that's great. Thanks. Thanks for the answer. I just wanted to before I go, I uh, say I want to second that other caller from NYC about Russell Brand. You should definitely do a, a little deep dive. Oh, OK. Yeah. Like a second, like an updated second deep dive. Yeah, because now I mean, first it was all COVID stuff, but yep. now it's like everything. Like, no, it seems extra there. weaponized now. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy. He's uh, he's he's off his rocker. Oh, yeah, exactly. And my last thought is just you being a drummer and a fellow drummer to me. Please. I was wondering if you were ever a Primus fan. No, I, I really was not. Uh, I mean, I, I have no issue with Primus, but I was just never a big fan. Oh, oh interesting. OK, yeah, gr great drummers. But uh, they have a new song called Conspiranoia. Hmm. And it's like a 10 minute music video. And it's all about COVID misinformation. You know, interestingly, now let me see was. Uh, oh, no, I thought I had, I had a friend who did some stuff with Primus at one point, but I don't. I'm going to check that out. All right. Yeah, check it out. It goes into all conspiracy theories. I'm really proud of them for uh, putting their foot down. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Larry from NYC. Great to hear from you. Awesome, man. Great chatting with you. Thanks.